Hey everyone, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you the fastest way to create a bounce animation in After Effects at different skill levels. We'll go from zero to pro in just four minutes. Let's get started. Basic level. Let's create a simple bounce animation. First, select the ellipse tool, create a circle, and make sure the anchor point is centered. Move the circle outside of the composition and set a keyframe for its position property. Now move forward six or seven frames and place the circle in its final position you'll see a basic drop animation. Next, let's add the bounce effect. You can either download it as free standalone tool from the link below, or find it under the animation menu in MoBar. Once the window pops up, choose the gravity preset as normal and leave the other options as they are. This will create a smooth bounce animation. If you want to change the intensity, adjust the spacing between the keyframes. You'll also find additional options in the effect controls panel. Simply pick a gravity preset that suits your animation style. Intermediate level. In this section, we'll make the bounce animation more dynamic by using the squash stretch and auto rotate features. I'll use a ball image for this example. First, let's create a basic bounce animation. Move the ball outside the composition, set a keyframe for the position property, and then go a few frames forward to bring it back into view. Now apply the bounce effect and choose light as the gravity preset for this time. Enable both the squash stretch and auto rotate options. This will give the ball a more natural feel as it squashes and stretches while bouncing. To add a bit more complexity, we'll make the ball bounce off the sides of the screen and see how the auto rotation feature works. Since we already have position keyframes, directly modifying them might disrupt the animation. Separating dimensions could break the expression code, so instead, you can adjust the X position value from the effect controls panel. Alternatively, use MoBar's keyframe menu to separate the X and Y dimensions without breaking the bounce expression. Now let's move the ball along the X axis and add a keyframe for it. Continue shifting it to the right, making it bounce back to the left. And finally, have it settle in the center of the screen. Adjust the keyframes until you're satisfied with the result. You can also explore the bounce settings in the effect controls panel to fine tune the animation even further. Advanced level. In this part, we'll create a text reveal animation with bouncing letters. First, select the type tool and write your text. Adjust the font and size in the character window as needed. Right click on the text layer and choose create shapes from text. This will convert your text into shape layers. Now head to the shape menu on MoBar and select separate shapes to layers, which will break each shape groups into individual layers. Delete the old layers to keep things organized. Now let's create another simple bounce animation. Move all the letters off screen and keyframe the position values. Move forward a few frames and place the letters in their final spots. Apply the bounce effect to all letters. Let's separate the dimensions again from the keyframe menu. To add some variety, slightly adjust the initial Y position so each letter bounces a bit differently. Select all layers and go to where the animation is starting to settle. Add keyframes for the X positions here. Go back to the start of the animation and adjust the X position of each letter so they enter the screen from slightly different angles. Keep adjusting the keyframes until the movement feels right. Next, we'll offset the letters. Head to the keyframe menu, select Offset Keys. Choose an offset value. Hit the random button to get a shuffled result. And you can click it again for a different variation. Lastly, let's add a secondary animation for the letter O. Adjust its X position and timing so it appears to bounce off the other letters. Tweak the timing until the animation flows naturally. That's all for today. You can download the project files from the link below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.